Welcome back to our latest edition of the Roll Tide Draft Blog. I'm Baker Lehman here with Herbie May, and college football season has come to a close with the Ohio State Buckeyes winning the first annual college football playoff. And Herbie, we're going to talk a lot about that game, but first we're going to talk about the losing quarterback of that game, Marcus Mariota, who is widely considered to be the top QB in this year's upcoming draft. But he didn't really play so well if you look past the box score. So Herbie, uh, there have been some questions about, you know, just spread QBs in general, you know, specifically Oregon QBs transitioned to the NFL. What, what is your opinion of Marcus Mariota after that game? Well, Marcus Mariota is a guy that, I mean, he, he's a real justification for some of the guys that are currently in the NFL. So, you know, you've got a couple players that you think about in the same class, Russell Wilson or Johnny Manziel and, and the guys that are doing well. And also a kid, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, behind Tom Brady. I mean, he, he's the same type of player in a way. And the difference between, you know, Russell Wilson and Johnny Manziel is what I think is just – decision making and knowing that you know the NFL is a different it's a different game and it's a different speed and there's different types of players that can that can wrap you up and bring you to the ground and Marcus Mariota is basically if he can transfer into the NFL then he justifies the Jimmy Garoppolo's and the Russell Wilson's and the Marcus Mariota and he is the new style of quarterback that that needs to uh, excel in the NFL because, you know, the Peyton Mannings and the Tom Brady's and, and the Joe Flacco's, you know, they're kind of the last of an era. And there will always be those gunslingers that are coming out of college. But, you know, the, the new age quarterback, Aaron Rodgers and, and Drew Brees and, uh, and Andrew Luck, are mobile. And you have to be mobile in this new league. You have to be able to get out of the pocket. But you also have to be able to make decisions and get to the ground and slide and, 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 and protect your body because, I mean, you know, if you're running, I mean, Cam does not have as long of a career as Peyton Manning does for, you know, just because he's taken hits early and he's beat up and he looks beat up and RG3 pushed the envelope a little too early. And, uh, you know, Marcus Mariota, it was sad to see him in that, in that national championship game because that, he basically showed the fear that every NFL team has right now. When he gets under pressure, when he gets flustered in a big game, big game situation, you know, will he be able to make the throws and make the decisions that, that NFL teams are looking for him to make? And unfortunately, he didn't, and it cost him the game. For me, what I saw out of that game from Marcus Mariota, I agree. You're right. Ohio State did a phenomenal job of just pushing him around, really, is the best way to show it. They set a tone early. They were dominant physically. Their size-wise, they overpowered Oregon. They kind of, you know, showed that, Oregon hasn't quite gotten over the whole hump of oh we're not soft anymore. We can hand excuse me, we can handle, you know, playing big boy teams. Didn't look like it when they faced a very physical Urban Meyer team. And for Mariota, yeah, he just got rattled early. And I, I think you're right, Herbie, that these quarterbacks who are mobile but are throw first mobile. They can escape the pocket, run if they need to, you know, pick up first downs with their legs, but they are mobile in the pocket. And I think that's the most important thing is they can set up a pocket step up into it, and move around in that pocket to make throws. Not to gain yards with their legs, but to make throws. And Marcus Mariota, for the most part, has shown that he can throw on the run, but, uh, buy time to create throws. But the problem is that Oregon offense doesn't make him, you know, look for extra reads. Right. Wilson is an incredibly intelligent QB who is always looking for his second, third, fourth, you know, even check down fifth read. Where Mariota with the Oregon offense, you know, it's zone read, roll out, either run or hand to the running back. It's all just reading the defensive end and then throw to a guy who's generally wide open just because of the, you know, the scheme that they're running and the hurry up scheme that Oregon right. plays with. But you look at Mariota's, there's a great stat, and I can't remember the exact number, but there's a great stat that said before the Ohio State game, Marcus Mariota on his first passing read was, you know, completing 75% of his passes. On his second and third reads, only around 30 to 35 percent of his passes, and that just tells me that he is not ready for the NFL game because the Oregon playbook doesn't make you actually, you know, there's really only maybe you know 10, 15 plays in that Oregon playbook, and it's all reactionary after that. And now, while the NFL is obviously, you know, you react to whatever the defense gives you in a certain way, you have to know a full playbook at Oregon. You know, it's the hurry up, get to the line, and it's those signs with you know the four pictures on it. That's the play, and there's only, you know, they don't have, you know, an arsenal of 62 signs that they hold up just throughout the game. Probably four or five of those signs, they all mean different things based on what, you know, the defense does or what the defense, or who the defensive end rushes or who blitzes, blah, blah, blah. 
and it's completely reactionary rather than making proper reads, standing up a pocket, and making you know precise throws like we've seen Mariota do. But in that Ohio State game, you saw him get big boyed, and you saw him just look flustered and look like you couldn't handle the big stage.